Hi guys, so today I'm doing the products I regret buying video. And I'm going to start with something that I bought in a set. Um, over, I believe it was the holidays, QVC had this thing with Tarte where it was a set, and I believe it was like $64 or something. You got four lip glosses, four eyeliners, and a palette. And two of the three sets that we got, or that I got, are in my products I regret buying category. The first are these eyeshadows. Now, because they were Tarte eyeshadows, I thought, oh, they're going to be great. I love the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes. Tarte's such a good company. I'm sure I will love them. I don't. Um, some of the color payoff on some of these is rather sparse, and they are chalky. Like, I don't feel that they are as smooth as some of the other Tarte shadows are. And I've heard various things that sometimes whenever companies will put out a holiday gift set or palette, it won't be as of high quality as their normal makeup because you're getting such a value for the gift set. But for some reason, the shades are really muted. And I guess, you know, that's really good for like an everyday look. But when they, when you have to build so much with these shades and they're chalky on top it's just not good like these this is too much work for me to use these colors day to day and i expected more from tarte the second um thing in the set were the lip glosses and i have three of them here the fourth one i have no idea where it is and i'm not stressed out about it um and i'm trying to see if there are any colors this is giddy this one is brazen and this one is genuine. Um, they're like a normal, a normal lip gloss, except they're extremely tacky and sticky. And they don't last very long. Um, the other one, I know that I like took it out and was wearing it. And it just didn't... I expected more, I guess you could say, because they were tart glosses. And I thought, oh, they're going to be such good quality. And they just weren't. They didn't last and they were way too sticky. The next item that I regret buying is my Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage. I heard so many good things about this concealer. And on the Sephora website, I believe it's marketed as, of course, it's a concealer, but you can also use it under your eyes. This concealer is so hard, you have to constantly like warm it up, warm it up, warm it up in your fingers. And then after you warm it up and you go to apply it, it cakes. So you can't apply it to any raised areas of your face. And even applying it under your eyes, it just looks cakey. By midday, it's going to look a hot mess. And I just don't like it. And I'm really sad that I purchased it because it was expensive. The next item, um, it's actually a set of items. And they, they would be these MAC pigments. This is Romp, this is Vanilla, this is Silver Ring, this is Fuchsia, and this one is Tilt. It's not the pigment um, that is the actual problem, but it's just the fact that I bought them in a pigment form. It's not the colors or... Um, MAC or anything by any means. It's just the fact that they're in a pigment form and pigments are really hard to work with. They're really messy and I never use them. Um, and I forget how much they were, but I know that they weren't cheap. It, they weren't like, you know, four bucks a piece. And I purchased them and I thought like, oh, this is going to be great. And I just don't use them. So again, MAC pigments I'm sure are great. There are people that love them. And when I use them, I like them but I rarely, rarely ever use them because of the form that they're in. I'm much more like a pressed pigment um, or just regular eyeshadow, which is what I should have purchased, but I digress. And the last item that I regret buying is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil. Um, it's got a spoolie on one side and it's got the pencil on the other side. And I believe this is in the color brunette dark brown. The reason that I regret buying this is because I don't see a difference when I use this pencil or when I use 
eyeshadow, like a brown eyeshadow in my brows. Or when I use this, which I love, which is the Anastasia Brow Powder. I love the brow powder. But this is marketed as a pencil that sets as a powder. And that's all well and good, but for $23, I expected just a little bit more. I mean, I know it's an eye pencil and technically, you know, what more can it do? But I just don't, I think that there are plenty of other products out there that can do exactly what this does and are much cheaper. So those are the products that I regret buying. I thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.